Okay, so we've had quite a few inquiries on how to use a trommel, um, especially since we sell them. So we're gonna demonstrate for you right now how to how to do this. Um, Tap is getting set up to. Um, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna harvest some worms out of our bed. Now, if you've got a CFT. Um, you may not have any worms at the bottom. You may be just sifting for um, getting finer castings. Um, if it's trays, it would basically work the same way. But we have windrows. We have these really wide windrows. So we're going to harvest some out of these. So the first thing she's going to do is, um, you can see where I've left off, Tabitha. Normally, we only take one to three inches off of our bed, but this bed is is kind of higher on this one end so we're trying to get it worked down a little bit so she's actually going to go down a little bit lower than what we normally would um and it's got some uh chunks of wood in it so it's a little bit challenging right now normally it doesn't <laughs> it's not that hard there's a piece of wood right there i'm sure got a bucket over here for those pieces of wood, those big pieces, because we really need to take them out. Is that All right, that's probably enough for our demonstration. So now she's going to take her wheelbarrow, put it at the end of the trommel, and we'll go down there in just a minute. But what's essentially gonna happen is the first two screens, so we have two one eighth inch screens and one quarter inch screen. The two one eighth inch screens are for your castings the one quarter inch screen is for your babies, your cocoons, and any smaller um, unprocessed particles. All that will go back into your bed um, for future worms. So right now she's gonna take and feed the trommel on this end. Now you could use a um, conveyor and, uh, or you could use a pitchfork we like to use these scoops. It just makes it easier for us girls, especially because we're not real tall. Um, Taps is taller than I am, but you just kind of feed it uh, a little bit at a time. The drier it is, the faster you can feed it through. Um, I tend to go a little faster than Tabitha does, but she likes to get all the castings out that she can, so she always goes a little slower than me, which is perfectly fine. And then as you can see, it's dropping down into these bins down here. And then it's gonna start coming out at this end. So right now we're waiting for the worms to come down. And what will happen is the worms will ride up to the right side, as you can see, and then they drop down into this side. Yeah, and depending on which way your trommel's going, it might be the opposite direction. On the bin on the left, that's going to catch your bigger debris, um, and you would put that back in your bed. Um, you're going to have some worms that fall down in there as well. No big deal, you just put that back in your bed. But as you can see, we've got worms falling down. Good amount, looks really good. And it just rides right on up. Now you could build something or you could have 
conveyors under your trommel, um, which is what we eventually want to do. Because these pans does get a little bit back breaking because you can only get about two wheelbarrows before you have to swap them out. And um, that that's pretty back breaking for us girls. But um, we've got Blake working on us something to help us out with that. Another thing I want to bring to your attention is your screens are going to get um, clogged from time to time. And you can just take a take something and just tap on there. Not hard, just a little tap. And that'll make the, the castings and the debris that's clogging your screens drop down. Same thing here with your worms. Every now and then your worms are gonna start sticking in your screens. So you just kinda wanna tap on it, get those worms to drop down, move on down your trommel. You don't wanna hit the screen really hard cause you don't wanna bend your screens. Um, if it's somebody you've hired that's new, just kinda watch them, make sure they don't hit them too hard. And, um, and that's about it. Once your pans are full, you'll empty your castings into your super sack or wherever you're taking them to. And your um, quarter inch screen, the material under that will just go back into your bed. Like I said, that's gonna be your cocoons, your smaller unprocessed material, and your worms will just uh, go back through that. So that wraps it up on how to use a trommel. Thanks guys for watching. So now the second part to this is once your worms have come down your trommel, you get those worms. We've made a table with bins here that has screens in them. Underneath those screens is uh, semi-moist castings right out of their bed. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the worms that we just sifted and we're going to put them into these screens or over these screens. And what will happen is these worms will move down into those castings. And all this debris here, we will skim off. And um, we'll be left with nothing but worms. And then what we can do is when we're ready to fill our orders, we'll run these worms back through and the castings will just come right off and you'll be having nothing but just pure worms. Look at those worms. So we're just gonna spread these out. And as you can see, they've already started making their way down into those castings. It does not take long having them under these lights. Um, the lights help drive them down. And uh, we'll give them a, a few minutes and, uh, and then we'll come back and we'll take all the debris off. And this debris also goes back into the beds we just took it out of. This is a little bit bigger material than what falls through your quarter inch screen. I have 10 of these trays set up here um, to do this. It's hard to do this one handed. But you just want to lightly a light um, thickness because you want that light 
to get into the worms so that helps to drive them down on into those castings that's underneath the screen. Now, if you're gonna hold these worms, you would probably want to add some um, food. So I would suggest maybe some, some oats or some chicken laying mash, some type of protein. Just don't overdo it. Um, because you don't want to give them protein poisoning, but it would help keep the weight on them, keep them nice and healthy for your customers. Customers don't seem to like little worms, although they get more worms, the smaller they are. was almost enough to do all 10 of my trays. Got nine of them. Now, you're gonna see some worms still in the bottom of your tray. So we just take this uh, soft bristled paintbrush and then we just brush these worms all down to one end and then we just brush them right on in sorry guys i know this is really hard to see maybe one day i'll be able to do this with a tripod or something okay then we take that empty tray about the time we get back around here the worms that we originally had put on top here are all moved down into those castings look at that how clean this just makes harvesting worms folks so much easier now, if you're using CFTs, you could just put all that back into your CFT. You wouldn't be harvesting worms out of there. 